This is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. We are live from the Wellard this morning. Oh, this is exciting stuff. I got here first this morning and I was very, very keen to see Sean McManus arrive. Why was that, Nathan? Well, Sean, outside of the studio where we usually do the show, there's weather. Mm. And the weather at the moment is is pretty cold. Well, I can tell you, Nathan. (laughs) Tell me more. It's 6.5 degrees in Wellard at the moment, but but it feels like 2.8. Oh, it is freezing. (laughs) And we are outside in the beer garden area. Yes. So, um... There's a nice warm fireplace inside. My favourite, my favourite <laughs> but we're thing, not near it. My favourite thing is the Wellard has decided to open up this morning for mm. breakfast, right? So we've got a whole lot of bunch of people who are having breakfast and look at them all. They're inside and they're warm. Yeah, it's like, it's like a tropical paradise in there. And we're like the people outside asking for their We've got one lady food. in, in, a, in oh, a puppet jacket. Good morning. <laughs> Thank you Sitting so out much. with us in the I'll cold. I tell you what, if you feel my throat just here, there's a lump. They're my nuts. <laughs> oh, Tickle them hey, again. Sean, hey, Sean, the right one's bigger than the left. <laughs> no, 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 him up from his house and then we're just going to take to the streets of the Quinana and just start tagging stuff. See what yeah, he's got yeah, to yeah. show us. A couple of burnouts would be nice oh, as yeah. well. Hey, Sean sick. Darcy's going to join us from the Dockers. He's had that operation on his ankle yes. which he told us about at the time, which was a secret. Yeah. Now we'll find out how that turned out. That's got to be the world's biggest moon boot. I'm interested <laughs> to see how Sean wets his whistle in the cold. Um, uh, $1,000 up for grabs. And Solar Opposites, we're going to be playing that in uh, this hour. For great deals and cheeky getaways, whatif.com has just the place. Yeah, we Winter hideaway is great, but bring on spring! Jump on the What If app to book hotels, apartments, holiday rentals and more. What If? It's Aussie for travel! So it's been um, a song since we spoke last, everybody. And since that <laughs> two time... Two songs, two songs. Two songs. Since yes. that time, you can now see our breath. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Have you noticed that, that happened? <laughs> well, just trying to move around a little bit to yeah. up We've got the option to go inside. I'll speak no, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. There's a bouncer won't let us in. <laughs> they said, this is for locals only. That's we right. We are not local, nor yep. are we welcome to be local. No. I had a look at us, and they didn't like the cut of our gym. And rightly so. You know what I mean? Uh, Outsiders. That's why we're outside. It's the only book I read. (laughs) (laughs) So, no, it's going to be an amazing morning. Um, Mm. As we said, um, uh, Roger Cook is taking us to an industrial area. Mm -hmm. Um, The people from Wellard, is this this one of your favourite places to go, the industrial area? (laughs) Oh, it's the Disneyland of the area. (laughs) (laughs) What could go wrong? Sounds pretty good to me. We're going to a lithium business, is that right? Yes, we are. We are. Yep. It's the future. What if we, What if this is all a joke and we are being punished for what we've done on radio for the last 20 years and we're being sent to a lithium mine? This is a, <laughs> And that's where we work from now on. Are you all in on that? <laughs> Nathan, Nat and Sean in podcast form. We come together because solar attracts. For a low weekly fee, get solar plus battery installed with no big upfront costs. Why wait for big savings, WA? Search Pleco now. Here we go. It's time to play a round of Solar Opposites. All you need to do is give us the opposite of the word we give you and a 1000 bucks from Pleco could be yours. This is easy money. It is easy money. Deb, how does that sound at uh, quarter to seven in the morning? Sounds good. Yeah, if you probably don't know this, um, you're in Byford right now, yep. and there's another person in Byford that wants to take you down, and her name is Jess. Hello, Jess. Good morning. How are you? It's, it's the it's Battle good. of Byford. It's, it's an intro club. Called. It's the it new Netflix show, The Byford Bays. Oh, I love it. No, really. yeah. that, that'd sell. Yeah. All right, guys, so it's pretty simple. We're just going to chuck out a word, and uh, one of you have to be quick enough to get in first mm. and give us the opposite of that word and make sure it's correct. So you'll buzz in with your name. You get it right, you take the point. You get it wrong, we move on to the next round. There are seven rounds. Seven rounds. Love Winner it. takes oh. all. Let's test your buzzers. Deb? Deb? No, a bit slow. Uh, Jess. Jess. Okay, good. Lovely. All right. Okay. All right, everybody, here is your first word. Hit. Jess. Deb. No, it's Jess. That oh, was it's Jess. Jess. <laughs> yes. I'm oh, sorry, Jess. 
Miss? What's Miss is the answer. <laughs> That's a really good game we should play. We should play a game where the person that buzzes in to answer it, we just we, we make the other person do it. <laughs> That's, That's the opposite. There's something here. There's something here. It makes sense in, in this here. context. I like I like uh, Jess apparently leads 1-0. <laughs> uh, All right. Okay. Uh, next word. Word number two. Here it is. Angel. Jess. Deb. Jess. Devil. Correct. Oh, you know it. Jess has shot out to a 2 0 lead. Come on, Deb. Bring it home. All right. Round three. Your word is exciting. Deb. Boring. Wait, wait there. You've got to wait until we end. Settle down. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Amy said that Deb got in first. Deb, what is the answer? Boring. Yes, Deb. That is the answer. Just wait until we say your names. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, and you know the answer. Potentially get it wrong. I so know, that's right. I um, score check, Jess, two, Deb, one. What's up for grub, Sean? $1,000 thanks to our good friends from Apolico Energy. It's three rounds hey. down. Well, this makes sense, this next word. Here we go. Freeze. Deb. Deb? That was Jess. Jess. Oh, Jess. Oh, Jess. Oh, you guys sound so... <laughs> Your name sounds... All right, Jess, have a crack. What's the answer? Heat. Freeze heat. Oh. Mm. oh. I mean... I... No, no, we're saying no. Amy said freeze no. is melt. Melt is the answer. To freeze and to melt. Yeah. To mm. freeze and to heat. Mm. Mm. These buzzers are malfunctioning a bit. Have you noticed that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, one of you have to change your name to Derek. <laughs> <laughs> But don't tell us which one. <laughs> oh, let's just walk all in with Derek. All right. All right. Still 2-1, okay. Natalie? That is 2-1 to thank you, thank Jess. You. Next word is student. Jess. Jess. Yes. Jess. Teacher? Yes, yes. Jess. Yes. Jess leads 3-1. Good score. Good score. <laughs> Your it's next fine, yeah. word. Yeah. Shallow. Jess. Jess. Deep. Is the answer, and we're done. And we're oh, done. That's yeah. the winner. The one unassailable lead. Jess takes out the one thousand wow. dollars cash. Thanks to Plico Energy. Yeah. Well done. Well done. And thank, thank you so you much guys. for playing. Enjoy as well, Derek. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. We are thank you. loving the we're so thank you. This is a podcast of Nathan, Nat, and Sean. It's really interesting when we go and do shows out with mm. people, Natalie, mm. because we are so used to the drive to work for us. So yes. for the drive to work for me, I mean, really, I can get there in 12 minutes. Mm. Yep. Uh, this Mine's morning, about 17. This morning it was 38 minutes mm. to get here. Mm. And so we had to adjust your morning. Yes. You know, as anyone that has to drive a distance has to mm. do. Uh, and um, you may have to make sure that you, you bring everything with you. Well, the one thing that I like about going to an OB is we have so many staff. An OB is an outside broadcast. Oh, mm. yes. Um, that do all the heavy lifting, so mm. I only have to get my backpack. Like you got your backpack there, Nate. Mm. Uh, you bring your iPad, yeah. but uh, I just chuck in my gym gear and a bottle of water, and away we go. So yeah. I've got nothing to think about. No. Yeah. Um, so Sam, who's our digital content producer, he does all the work. You see on our socials, all that sort of stuff. Very busy man. Yeah. Very yep. important yep. man. He came down this morning. Yep. So Sam, hello. Where are you right now? Uh, I am. I've just pulled up. Um, I'm in. Where am I? In. <laughs> in uh, near the airport, actually. So, you're near the so airport. You've been here at the Wallard this morning. Yeah, we saw you. Um, and then you had to leave. Sam, what is your job for this morning? Um, to take photos and film. What did you forget to bring? My camera. <laughs> <laughs> One job, Sam. <laughs> One job. <laughs> Yeah, you, look, you were so here. You were at, here. At what point did you realise you didn't have your camera? So you've driven all the way down to the Wellard. When did you realise um, you didn't have it? Well, as soon as I got out of the car, I went to go grab all my all my stuff. Um, um, and yeah, a tripod, bag, and then I reached for my camera bag, and it just <laughs> wasn't there. And so the back of my car um, is such a mess. I was like, surely it's just in the pile of mess. As I've dug through all everything, and um, yeah, <laughs> it's not there. Can I just ask you guys yes. a question? You've gone to work, you've gotten there, then you've realised you've left something at home, then you go home. Can you, you leave your house again and no. go back to work? <laughs> no. <laughs> Okay, what about this story, Nate? This might bring you back to Christmas when you forgot your 
shaver. But and I, you drove from did. Dunsborough. No, no, no. I forgot the uh, the power cord to my shaver. So I woke up that morning. Uh, it was, was it Christmas morning? Was it? It's just facts of somebody who I didn't want to spend Christmas yeah, yeah, with yeah, their family. Yeah. It was Christmas <laughs> morning. I woke up Christmas morning and I drove from Dunsborough back to Perth, ran upstairs, got my charger, came back stairs and drove back to Dunsborough. Because that's not... <laughs> That's not critical. I needed. Do you know it, what I mean? Though. It's not critical. Like I, you, you no, could it just let critical. it. It wasn't critical. Yeah. So you just wanted needed a bit of away time. Well, you've met them. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're just lovely. So, lovely. Sam, what's your but ETA? But there was no room in the car. When do, you, when do you think you'll get here, Sam? Probably another half an hour, but I think we're about to hit traffic. But um, yeah. It's oh, been you pretty are, inter- Sam. You're not coming back, you're are you? Back. We're you're on the, the, you're sitting on your couch right now, aren't you? Yeah. It's um. I was saying it's been pretty interesting to see all the, the roads that Ellie gives in her traffic reports every day. <laughs> the the yeah, Quinana, the Anchor Test, the Berrigan, the... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And how much of a liar she is. And, <laughs> and you're going to yeah. see them three times, which is a bit of fun, yeah. isn't it? All right, well, it's hurry like, back I think because... things are moving smoothly, but they're not. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, hurry back because in 8 o'clock we're going to look at an industrial area. Yeah. You want to get that on camera. Don't want to miss that. <laughs> Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Why are we here, guys? Why are we here? Because of the formal invitation of the most powerful man. You say invitation, I say order. (laughs) (laughs) Roger Cook, our Premier, joins us right now, everybody. The local man. Look at him. I love him here. I do. Roger, this place is absolutely fantastic. When we came in this morning, having the Wellard right next to the train station that we're at here, the shopping centre, everything's new, it's shiny, it looks amazing. This is a great subdivision. I've been here for over 10 years now, living in Wellard. It's such a great community, part of the Quinana community. Uh, we really love it. As you say, train station just here, shops just here. Everyone walks, everyone bumps into each other in the street. Well, you walked here this morning, didn't you? Absolutely, yeah. Are I'm, you like, right. you've been here for 10 years. Were you like the local nobleman who owned all the land and then sold it off? Is that the <laughs> oh, way it works? I, I wish. <laughs> that was actually a guy called John Wellard. I'm, I'm not oh. quite sure where he is, God rest his soul. But he's, um, really? He would have done well. Yeah, that's right. So John Wellard was the actual owner of the farm here and um, and clearly they've known yeah. a lot of th- this was one farm yes. oh, look, yeah oh yeah i assume i assume it was probably a number of farms but it was um but there's also a bit of bushland here that had to be had to make way for the new subdivision but it, it's a great little community here and as you can see oh, they've all come to the pub for breakfast yeah, yeah i know well but um, i have to say the well is amazing and they thought you know what we've got the license we can get you can go and get a drink at the bar if you want <laughs> Yeah, I was thinking that. Welcome to Well Art. <laughs> Katie Jane is one of the owners here, or her and her husband. Um, she's waiting for people. It only takes one person to finally get a drink. Oh, and then the rest will follow, but we haven't seen like, one go mimosas. for the campaign yet. You were well, in there before, Rod. Did yeah, a lot one? of people think they're not allowed to buy. And I said, look at, the, look at Katie Jane over there. Go talk to her. Yes. She'll fix you up with a, you know, an espresso martini or a yeah. champagne. <laughs> well, I'm glad to say that, Roger, because they're bringing out a yard glass you right now. <laughs> <laughs> now, a little later this morning, you're going to take us on the ground. Grand tour. Oh, the tour of Quinana. Yeah. Nothing better. Yeah. What are, so that's 10 minutes. Then what are we going to do? <laughs> oh. Going, oh, God, please. <laughs> Come on, everyone. You've got to trash talk this sort of attitude. Yeah. Look, so we're going to have a great look around. We're going to obviously have a look at the industrial strip. Which is like the Champs-Élysées of, of the uh, area. Absolutely. <laughs> the power, part of the powerhouse of the national economy, which Western Australia is. We're going to have a look at a few of the facilities, the yes. playground, the nature playground, things like that. It'll be a great morning. Okay. All right. All right. And I hear we're going to um, uh, go and try our hand at golf. We are. The Quinana Golf the, the, Course is a bloody brilliant golf it's course. It's a beautiful golf course. One of the great kept, you know, secrets of the golfing world. So we're going whack a ball or something like that. Have a look around. It's in, nestled in the bushland, which is so much part of the Quinana community. They reckon it's very so, similar so, to uh, Barn Bugle in Tasmania. It's just one of those historic places to play at. Is, is, that, is, is, that, a, is that a golf joke? <laughs> The golfers know what you're talking about. Like golf that none of us got. <laughs> Wait, sorry, do it again, Sean. Oh, okay, I've ah. to myself. You're so funny. Sorry, right? I should have yeah. planned that yeah. one. <laughs> I tell you what, though, you know how close we got with Mark McGowan. I have to say, probably from spending five minutes here, how mm. do you think about this compared to Rockingham now? Mm. Well, less uh, free parking on the seafront, which was the main attraction for Nathan. Yeah, there is, for no, there is no um, for, for um, shore here. No, well, there is. There is. You can, dri- you can ride your... On it and yeah. a few other f- industrial facilities. But, so. but you can ride your horse on the beach. Absolutely, is, yeah. yeah. You can ride Quinana. your horse on In the Quinana, beach. Does everyone have horses? <laughs> <laughs> but that should be a thing. If you're the horse place, then you, everyone should get like at least like half price horses. Well, I think the success, success today, when we first went with um, Mark McGowan on a bit of a tour, mm. the bus got.
got broken into. That's true. Adam Feller found a bullet where we parked yes. our car once in Bunbury. So we'll yes. just, if we can get through this morning without any of those things, it's the best oh, race. Be shot, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> As you know, Cronulla very safe, beautiful part of the world. Oh, it is. We, we look down on Rockingham, you know. Yes, of course yes. you do. They, they think they're a little bit better than us, but yeah. they're not. Really, no, when it comes down. No, we got the motorplex, mate. No. Yeah. no, it was great. It was great. Like I parked here this morning, felt super safe. I only had to join one gang to get to the front door. <laughs> um, but they've got my back. Um, they're my blood brothers. Yeah, I see so. that you are wearing your neutral gang yeah. colours today, Premier, in the uh, Matilda scarf. Yeah, going yeah. the Matilda yeah. scarf. <laughs> Big games coming up. So I'm getting really into this. The, 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 I'm not a great football follower, but I've seen a couple of the games here in Perth. So much fun. Yes. So exciting. So good to see little oh, girls. No, welcome to the bandwagon. <laughs> oh, it's just fantastic. And of course, we're so proud of what the Matildas did uh, in their game against Canada yeah. the other yes. night. And I think they just go from strength to strength yep. from here. I think I think take the Danes down. Gears, yeah. Going yeah. through their gears. All right. Well, well, we, like the, we like what's happening in Wellwood yes. at the moment. The sun's yep. up. I do have one issue, though. One issue. When we're driving here this morning, um, we got off Mortimer Road, and when they were driving down that road, getting towards this area, and there is this patch of road, which is from the movie Wolf Creek. It says it no has, light. It has no lights. It seems to turn in a one-lane dirt road and you don't know whether this is it. So I thought that that's where my life was going to end. And then suddenly it was like, you know, um, civilization again. Even, even <laughs> so what's happening with the that? The sat-nav then? goes, lock yeah. your doors. Yeah. So what's, happen weird. what's happening in that murder patch? What okay. are we doing there? <laughs> well, ultimately that'll be a, a, a dual carriageway. We'll, okay, get there one, we'll get there one day. Yeah. It's just, it, it's, yeah. it's coping at the yeah. moment. You, you want to get, get a hurry up on that? because there was a guy sharpening a knife at the end yeah. <laughs> as I was driving past well, waiting. This is a growing community. Okay, this, is, this is almost peri-urban, but it's a great part of the world. We really love it down here. I love it. And it's a, yeah, I and, just want to survive. And it's a terrific <laughs> community. <laughs> New roads coming All right. first. The Premier is going to show us around a little bit later this morning. Um, you've got to go and do some premiering for a bit. I'm going to prepare for Quinanarama. Yes. Oh, Quinanarama, <laughs> mate. It's officially it's all happening. It's the new branding of your, of your place, by the way. Yes, really. it's happening. You have no choice. Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Wet your whistle. Buckle in because Frost Town is back. August 18 and 19 at Claremont Showgrounds. Get your tickets now at froth.town. Up for grabs, we've got two tickets to Froth Town at Claremont Showgrounds, plus $1,000 cash. And all you need to do is identify the tune that Sean's whistling. Oh. Good luck to the two guys who are going to battle it out this morning, Paul and Jackson. But we'll start with you, Paul. Good morning. Good morning. How are you going? Oh, Paul, you're in for a musical treat this morning. Sean's lips seem to be combining with the cold to yes. create some musical genius. Mm. Uh, um, but a bit we need of a clue there. Paul, um, uh, can we get a whistle from you? I want to see what we're working with. That's right. Yeah, okay. Well, obviously, well, there's a camera, isn't there? <laughs> <laughs> really? it's, a, it's a new puffer. Yeah, thank you. Um, Jackson's in Mount Hawthorne. Hey, Jackson. Hello, Jackson. Hello, you got me, Nathan and Sean. Oh, yes, we Jack, do. You. Over. Yes, we got him, Jackson. Yes, yes. over. <laughs> over. <laughs> over. Jackson is on the scene. Uh, Jackson, can we have a whistle from you? Oh, that's Ooh, one of those, that seems like tuneful. a that seems like a cattle whistle. Yeah, yeah, mm. okay, yeah. Mm. That was a no-fingered whistle. <laughs> All right. No-fingered. Here are the rules. Sean will whistle a tune for you. We'll give you the category that you're looking for. If you think you know the answer and can identify the tune, buzz in with your name. If you get it right, you take the point for that round. You get it wrong, Sean will keep whistling and we might even chuck a clue your way. Oh, jeez, I hope so. All right, so. Can I just say, test. The, the Wallard's full of people and they're all watching... Us whistle. Yes. <laughs> no, they're watching us whistle from behind. From behind. Um, <laughs> Imagine what it looks like from, from it's, in front. <laughs> it's, it's incredible. Um, let's test your buzzers. Paul. Paul. Jackson. Jackson. Working well. Now, guys, all right. if I can ask you all, like it being at any top concert, yes. if you could just keep the noise to a minimum That's during right. the performance yes. and just really soak in what's happening. Thank you. That'd be great. Um, Paul and Jackson, Sean's about to whistle a song, and the first song will be a song from a movie. you just got to tell us the title of that movie. Oh, you want the, the movie title? Okay. Yeah. Mm, okay. okay, here we go. What do you think? Oh, no, sure. All right. Here we go. Jackson. Yes, Jackson. Is it Star Wars? <laughs> no, it's not. That's it's a really not. bad start. It's actually. not Jackson. I'm going to go again from the um, top. Sean, Sean's going to keep whistling. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> no, that's right. Oh, that's right. That was right. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay. Clue time, clue time. <laughs> clue time. Okay. This isn't warm. Without yelling at the without, without yelling at the answer, you all know what it is, don't you? Yes. Okay. People in the world are going, God, the rest of Perth is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Another clue. Disney. Paul. Yes, Paul. Frozen. Yes. Oh. Let it go. Jesus. We're packing, Paul. Up. We're packing up the show. We're leaving. Paul is on the board. <laughs> uh, he leads 1-0. YouTube broker. Yeah. I don't like our chances with the next one. Okay. okay. Go with that. Sean's about to whistle the theme from a TV show. Please give us the name of the TV show. Jackson. Jackson. Home and away. Yes! 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 Right in the bay. It's, right tied, in the up. Bay. it's tied up at one all. Now I've got to do another one. This is very tight. Okay, good match. Good match. This is huge. This is huge. Okay. It all comes down to this, Natalie, and I think mm. we're going to have a definite winner, so maybe we need some testing of the buzzers. Okay, let's test your buzzers. Paul. Paul. Jackson. Jackson. Natalie Locke, what are, they, what are they playing for? They are playing for two tickets to Froth Town at Claremont Showgrounds. All right, guys. And, wait. What, what, what? $1,000 cash. Australian money? <laughs> Australian dollars cash. Unbelievable. Okay. All right, guys. Um, now Sean is about to perform. That might be his last song. We don't know let's if you so. do. Yes, let's hope Because so. you're shit. What um, category are we going to give it? Here we go. This is a well-known song. We all know this song. Everybody knows okay. this song. It's been it's with a us well-known we were, song. Since we were little until right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Jackson. Yes, Jackson. Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. <laughs> yes, Jackson! Oh my God, man. Man. You go to Frost Town, Jackson. Jackson, you're a thousand in. You've won a thousand bucks cash. Two tickets to Frost Town at Claymont Showground Saturday, 19th of August. Well done. Oh my Lord. Thank you, John. Oh, that is over for the week. It was week. a slow start, but we got there in the end. Who wants to keep it going next week? <laughs> <laughs> Three people. Nice. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is the Nathan, Nat, and Sean podcast. Hey guys, I just want to give a shout out to Kirsty who was here a second ago. We just got a photo from her. Um, oh, we were talking about how there she is. We were talking about how wonderful this place is and how Roger was saying, you know, you can just yes. sort of walk everywhere. Yes. Um, Kirsty, quickly run over here. Come, come over here. Um, and I went, yeah, it's amazing. You'll be able to save so much money on petrol, mm. and you know, just be able to walk. around. Kirsty, hi, hi. Say hello to Nan and Sean. Hi. Yeah. Hi, Kirsty. Where do you live? Um, you can see my house from. <laughs> and, and how did you get here? I drove. <laughs> Percy, what are you Percy. doing? You can actually see my house from here and I drove. I've got to what, why? Home. <laughs> why? Uh, I don't know. Okay. Right. Oh, okay. It, it seemed like a good idea. Warm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to up. Welcome to Wellard. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. it's very walkable, Wellard. Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. We're about to hit the road. I know, I'm a bit sad to leave the well art. Me too. We've they had have... a great breakfast. I'm looking forward to coming down here and having a lunch. I know. Yeah. They've yeah. really looked after ourselves, us. Jess? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a couple but of jars off the wood. Here's the deal, though. Um, we were going to uh, now, you know, jump in a van and mm. go to the Premier's house. Mm. And then he said, nah, don't be so lazy. Walk. So oh, we're, walking. we're walking. We're walking oh, to the Premier's house. We're walking to the Premier's house. Gotta get our steps up. Mate, why not soak in everything mm. the suburb has to That's offer right. before we are completely won over by the industry? <laughs> <laughs> So uh, that's what's going to happen. We're about to uh, put our walking shoes on yeah. and go for a hike to uh, Roger Cook's house. And from there, he's going to show us the wonders of Quinana. Right. I cannot wait. Mm. Mm. You're like, beaming. Mate, if I'm this much in love with it now, <laughs> what could only happen after the lithium tour? <laughs> 
let's just set the scene. We have left the Weller. Yeah. At the moment, our producer Amy is wearing a backpack. Yeah. And we're tethered to that backpack by cords. Yeah. Three microphones, Natalie. Yeah. Connect yeah. the microphones. It's like a weird bagpipe situation. It feels. <laughs> imagine, I don't know. It's something strange. Imagine yes. one of those New York yeah. dog walkers. Yeah. And, and wear the wear dogs. The dogs. <laughs> yeah, right. But so, anyway, we are walking to the Premier's house. We're right now we're just going to the back from the back of Woolworths, um, which is actually a really nice back of a Woolworths are we in, from tell, my experience. Tell everybody exactly how no, to get to it. Roger Cook's house. No, okay. that's no, 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 we can't. But um, what we will say is uh, this is quite a pleasant walk out here. It's not yes. too bad, and it's only about five or six minutes away. Not well, a Nathan's problem. Nathan's always amazed when we're out in the open. I am. Um, I mean, so just look at all the little hedges <laughs> and like look at all the like look at that. Look at this little curves. It's amazing. Well, nice little townhouses around the area as well. And if you want to follow along this adventure... Well, why, um, why wouldn't you? Because it sounds amazing. Nathan, Nat and Sean Instagram account is where you can <laughs> check out all the action now that Sam, our digital content producer, is back from going to get his camera. Can I ask a question? Are we actually on? Because I don't feel like we're on. What do you mean? Can people hear us? Yes. <laughs> Has anyone got I'm, any... I'm going to say yeah. Okay. <laughs> We don't. I, I, to be honest, I think it's probably better if they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 We're, we're trying to Where follow the... You, uh, you, you're literally following a well, map, that, that, right? So, wait, we went we're from going there. Right. Yes, we're going right. Right. <laughs> you just, you got to just point your right? shoulders where yes. you think you might go. Okay. We're, we're going right. We're going right. So we've got to cross over there. This lady's going to get oh, the opportunity yeah, no. to uh, so run much. us over. Oh, you can hear us? Okay, great. Yeah. Oh, you can hear us? <laughs> okay, okay cool. we can be heard. Oh, well, that's even worse. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello, Green Holden. That's a really nice... Is that a Commodore, isn't it? Yes, it's a Commodore. We like your Commodore. It's nice. It needs okay, a scoop on the hood. going to describe all the vehicles of Wellard to you one by one as That's we go nice past. Oh, yeah, I've got two stories in a row. Is that it? No, 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 no we're not, yeah. I was going to say, you can't be that bloody close. <laughs> um, this is amazing. I've lived in an area where you can just walk around and not need a car. It's mm. so mm. good. This is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. We are, well, it's Konanarama. We're discovering the wonders of Konanarama. Yeah. And our tour guide is the Premier, Roger Cook. Yeah, and um, he said to come and grab me from my house. I'm yep. not that far away from the Wellard. So we did that. It was a very, like, leisurely yeah, tiny walk. Yeah, I cannot believe he's, I, can, I cannot believe he gave us his address. No, not Or do at you think all. he's just Airbnb'd this for the day? Maybe <laughs> he has. Right, well, let's, let's go in. Let's, let's go, in go in on the gate. Okay. Get okay. the front door. We're in. A lady. Here we go. Yeah. Approaching the front door. Okay. Does he have a doorbell or is it just a knocking it's situation? Just a knocking. Oh. I think oh. it's a knock stitch. Hey, Vaughn. Hello. <laughs> Hello. We're still do it. The the yeah. Yeah. You really live here or this is your real house? This is my real house. Why did you let us know where it is? It's <laughs> a really good question. <laughs> now I'm in trouble. Yeah, you're really, you're really going to regret, gonna regret this. this. Are you ready? I'm ready to go. Okay, well, I'm, let's I go. I have it. a quick question. What's that? Um, why don't you weed your front garden? Oh, uh, it's natural. <laughs> That's well, what I said. They, they, they're okay, not natives. It's a little winter growth. It's a little winter growth. <laughs> we all get it. We all get it, winter. <laughs> yeah, Absolutely. Right, yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm in no place to criticise, to no, be honest. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, well, let's um, let's go. Let's go. Right. And by the way, Roger, I like those weeds. I reckon they look nice. So you just let them go. It offers a little bit of green. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> you know what? It's up to you if you yeah, choose the landscape. Bolt that door. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, okay. What's the plan? Where yes. are we going now? Okay. Well, what's the first? What's the first stop? I we've think we're going to, go to the Lithia place, are we? Or yes. So we've got to go see the, 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 the strip, the mighty strip. Okay. Yeah. And, and Sean, Sean ha- there, thinks so we're going to Vegas. Is that what <laughs> he's it, expecting? It it's, an old, it's a big strip. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a big strip. All right, you got me. So <laughs> amazing, Alcoa, amazing right. companies, Tianchi Lithium. Yes. yes. Right at the forefront of our new battery energy, green energy transition, and our future. Oh, we love that. So let's go have a look at that. Okay, right. All right. We're live from a mini bus in Granada. There we are. <laughs> it's a completely yeah. normal thing yeah. to do. A mini bus, but major person inside yes, of it. Yes, that's right. It's a very Friday morning thing to do, right? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Roger. Uh, so, yeah, we are currently on our way to the industrial strip, which we're very excited about. We're just at the back of it now, yeah. actually, working our way there from yeah, Granada. Yeah, and we thought, you know what, there's so many people been enjoying just, you know, through their ears, the wonders of Granada, Rama, and the Wallide <laughs> area this morning. We thought, let's give someone something special. Now, $150 a 
suspender auto bar mechanical. How about that? What do they have to do? Um, nothing. Auto bar <laughs> mechanical putting the service back into service centres. Google auto barn today. What we'll do is we'll just chuck this out on the site. What's this road here, Roger? And people can come and get it. In the corner of Wellard Road and this is the old man. Ma- right, road. So we're just oh, putting the voucher road, yeah. out on the corner here, <laughs> and then whoever gets here first and gets it. <laughs> I'll tell they, you what, what, should we should give it to whoever lets well, us in the traffic <laughs> because um, it's not easy to turn here. Um, <laughs> Nathan, Nat, and Sean podcast. All right, well, here we are in the yes. lab, everybody. I know, I know, I know, and um, everyone in the lab is confused. <laughs> We've actually just met Paul, been introduced to, I think, yes. uh, head scientist, Paul? Was that, head what scientist. would your job be? Uh, lab manager. Oh, lab yeah, manager. head scientist, that's it. He's yeah. a big guru. <laughs> Good news, you've been promoted. <laughs> are you taking us on the tour, Paul? Yeah, I'll show you through the lab if you like. Mm. What's the most exciting thing, thing that, that happens here? Lab coat. Lab coat. Grab a lab coat. Grab a lab coat before you head Okay, in. so mm. we've got Lab coat's made up for everyone, so okay. we'll look for your name tag oh, and put okay. the lab coat on. Oh, mine's got my big Thank brother. You, mine's got my big brother picture on it. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> somebody's, been, somebody's been trolling our Instagram. Just <laughs> cry. <laughs> oh, Roger, yours is a nude. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay, this is funny. All right, so we're getting our lab coats on. And these are these lab coats important because of an extra layer of protection or they're just for the look? Uh, no, it's part of our PPE. So PPE, yeah, yeah nice. Mm. All, right. All right. We've never looked better or smarter, just quietly. Mm. Now, what are, what are we going to be looking at, Paul? What are you going to show us? Uh, so I'm going to show you a titration where we're going to test for hydroxide in the product. Mm, I'm having flashbacks to high school chemistry and I'm not liking it. <laughs> it, yeah, wasn't, it wasn't a happy time for me, Paul. <laughs> there's a lot of high school chemistry going on here. Any Bunsen burners, <laughs> Paul? Bunsen burners. No, sure. unfortunately no Bunsen burners mm, here. Mm, might yeah. be Any rats that we're putting lithium into and then they get superpowers? Does that happen here? <laughs> no, not here. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's the next place, Sean. I, I just want to say we're um, completely honoured to be here. We're on the screens now. Mm. Welcome, Honourable Roger Cook, MLA, Premier of Western Australia, and Nathan Nat and Sean mm. Nova FM. And we've got special name tags as, as well, Nathan. We do. Mine has the, my photo from Big Brother on it mm-hmm. when I was really ray, 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 rocking that mohawk. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think it's a winning. You should probably go back to it, to be honest. Mine, mine is a throwback, too, because my nickname is Cracker Lock, going back from when I was oh, what's a mine? Cairo. Mine's a Victor Morris. I didn't even read that. <laughs> and what's your and Sean is Sean? washed up. I'm, Footballer McManus. I'm Mullet McManus. Mullet. <laughs> there you go. The undercut was in full swing. Happy days. I'm Professor Cook. I'm, I'm Professor, Professor Cook. Ah, oh, yes, oh, yes, you are. Holes. All right. <laughs> We're heading into the lab, everybody. It's the Nathan, Matt and Sean podcast. It's Quinana Rama. Oh, the uh, Premier dragged us here because he said there's things that you really need to see. We're at Tianchi Lithium. Oh, we're in a lab. We're wearing white, white coats. I know. Look at us. It's so exciting. We're in it's front never of, looks like, smarter. There's like beakers. It sort of looks like, you know, where the Incredible Hulk became. Came the Incredible mm, Hulk. Exactly like that. Uh, where a um, uh, lab accident could happen, but this mm. looks very safe. It, this is very upmarket. This is very cool, but it's so mm. cool. So we all know how we know how to, we know how to mine in Western Australia. Of course, yeah, we're good at digging stuff, things really up. Good I dug stuff. my way out of my mother. That's mm. right. So, <laughs> so what we what we're now looking to, to do is to add value to those those minerals, right. yeah. so that we're not just sending out uh, lithium ore, which is called spodumene. Yes. We're actually upgrading it to be a battery material ready for. So we're pro- Processing it right here in WA, right? Processing it here, doubling the value. So this really adds Mm. to the economy. Mm. It's an important part. Well, we have Paul here. We spoke to you just a bit earlier. Paul, what are we going to be doing with this test? Okay, this test, we're going to test the purity of the LHM product. Mm. And Um, the Premier's going to do something, right? You're going to make him do the test? Well, he's going to do the test, yeah. Mm. Okay, so does he do it? Is this what he comes down and does every day, or normally do you do it? <laughs> I just lend them a hand whenever they do it. The bit yeah, short. Yeah. So helpful. Because yeah. on Thursdays he does Casanova in for us. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just confused. All right, let's see some signs happen. Okay. All right. Wait, take, me, take me through it, Paul. Sorry about it. We've pre weighed out a sample here. So I'll give you that one. Excellent. We're going to add one shot of dilute hydrochloric acid here. Oh. 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 Push it up and then push it in. Oh. That's good. I know how to do a shot. Okay. That's good. <laughs> that was just like pouring a shot glass. There we go. There it goes. And one then shot we're of add HCL. One shot of IPA. Okay. <laughs> Is that an XPA? Like that's a. No, 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 yeah, no, okay, no, no, no. IGA. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do a double shot. All right, so this is something well, he got it. from IGA. 
And he's putting it in there. Okay, now okay. we're going to load it onto our auto sampler. Ah, oh, okay. I thought that, that. That looks like an egg carton, guys, like where mm. you put your eggs into. So mm-hmm. it's like waiting for the robotic egg. arm now. Yeah, so if we come oh. down here... We oh, okay. Sean wants to give that robotic arm some instructions. <laughs> so using the mouse, we just click onto this button here to start the test off. All right. Roger Cook is clicking with the mouse. Oh, my God, it's happening. And save, yes. Yep. Oh, save. Wait, now yep, we're on now Spotify. Now save. <laughs> All right, so the robot will now pick up. Oh, there goes the robot now! Look at it go. The robot's roboting. Are you kidding me? This is this. this, Everyone's worried about AI. Look at it; Mm. it's friendly. Mm. Looks really helpful. There it goes. Okay, so here it is. Spinning over. The thing that Roger grabbed. It's like a skill tester. It's It's like a skill tester, but this one actually grabs it. It's grabbing the little beak thing. Here we go. And no fluffy toy at the end. No. No. Hey, Paul, just a question. Would it be quicker for you just to grab it? (laughs) (laughs) If I had time to stand here all day. Okay, so you're usually you're doing something else. That's Mm. what I was going to say. Mm. Then we can do another. Mm. It's not the fastest (laughs) robot I've ever seen. I'll be honest. So, Paul, we're testing the quality for what reason? Uh, so we want to make sure that it's on specification. There's a whole range of international standards that we must meet before yep. it meets battery grade. So we're looking for battery grade lithium. Yep. Do we yep. need to press continue there? Okay, good. And oh, I, mean, the... I, don't, I don't want to tell you how to do your job or anything. And, and we're, so we're looking for the best lithium we can, yes? Yes, battery grade, Nathan. So do we, give, grade. do we give ours to Energizer, to Duracell? What do we give out, or is it something bigger? Uh, so right. li- lithium the... either goes into electric vehicles, batteries for electric vehicles, oh, yes. or into big batteries, energy storage systems. So they get, it's rechargeable batteries, isn't it? Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, yeah, Absolutely. yeah. We've got, like, do we have heaps of lithium here? We are one of the biggest producers in the world. Really? We have some of the best resources from a lithium perspective yeah. right here in WA. Fantastic. Mm. Uh, uh, Raj, next question is, what's your share price? <laughs> uh, well, we are not listed, but our shareholders are. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Just look for that one, everyone. All right, Paul, what's, happening next? Okay. what's happening next? What's happening next? Okay, so the titration's okay. now going to start. And um, basically, it's a acid-based titration. Mm. So if you remember back to your high school chemistry... No, 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 no flashbacks. I'm not, I'm not enjoying it. Yeah. So where um, a lithium hydroxide is our base, we react it with hydrochloric acid, which is our acid. Yeah. Um, once all of the lithium hydroxide is reacted with the acid, that's when we find out um, what the purity is. Mm. Ah, AU is gold on the periodic table. Mm. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the, I thought I'd tell you that's something. That's the extent of his <laughs> You tell me something, I'll tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how long before we know whether it's good enough? How long does uh, it take? So this one's just completed now. Oh, how do we go? Oh, really? That quick? That's quick, yep. And it's 56.66%, which uh, we need a minimum of 56.5. Oh, so nailed it. it! So we found it! So we we, everyone, we found it! <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> Batteries for all! (laughs) Thank you so much, Paul. Well done, Roger. What do we do now? We just pour it into a car? Now we just collect the money. I don't know. That's right. We'll get it uh, pelletised or granulated, Mm. ship it offshore, make Mm. lots of money. Okay, this is good. Make it happen. All right. right. Thank you so much, Paul. Thanks for being great scientists, Roger. Thank you to (laughs) to Raj and TNG Lithium for having us this morning. Nathan, Nat and Sean in podcast form. Our Quinana Rama adventure continues. We've seen it, lithium in all its glory. We just oh. basically invented it, and then Roger <laughs> made us taste a thing called spodumene. <laughs> <laughs> Roger, cool. And it was saltier than I thought. Well, no no then, way for the Then you remember. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's next is the question. What's next? Uh, Where are we headed? We are, going, we are going Roger? somewhere that is close to Sean's heart. No, yeah. actually, sorry, we're going somewhere where it's close to Sean's wallet. That's right. <laughs> We're going right into the middle of Medina yes. to the Pace Road town. To the funky It's going to be big. Now, it's going to be big. Sean is a part owner of this particular establishment. When were you last there, Sean? Oh, I reckon about seven years ago. <laughs> yeah. I, I caught up with Roger there once. Yeah, well, one of the first times uh, I ever met Sean was yeah. I just happened to go into the bottle shop. Yes, and, and there's Sean working McManus there. working behind the counter. I thought it was, it was, it was surreal. And that was the same night, because my mum was a skimpy barmaid that night, <laughs> and that's the same night that you saw my mum. And she said you guys spent a wonderful night together. So we're fully expecting the pastry to be completely boarded up at this point. Um, has anybody... No, we bring his head. Yeah, I think okay. we're going to catch up with Danny, and she's going to show okay. us around the place. Actually, right. I'll show you around the place. Yeah. There yeah. you go. Yeah. Apparently, sure, you yeah. know. Yeah. All right. 
right, that's what we're off to next. Uh, it's going to be a big day, Ross. Ross, hello. No, it's me. It's Ben. Oh, oh hi, ben. Ben. Oh, ben. Hi, Ben. Ross is off today. Surprise, surprise. Uh, mm, mm. Wait there. That's why his name's Ross, because it reminds me with, with off. <laughs> Ross is always off. <laughs> Who knew we made so much lithium, though? I know, right? We got all the lithium. Yeah, we got all the lithium. I can't wait until little... we get higher up in the lithium chain, where we're like the, the captains of the lithium battery <laughs> world, Roger. That's a plan. That's a plan. Hey, what do you mean? Hey, Ben, just before we go, just one last little thing. Um, our assistant producer, Ruby, it's her last day today before she leaves us and moves to Melbourne with no job and no prospects. Um, so we just wanted to wish her all the best because um, uh, she's leaving. How do you feel about somebody leaving Western Australia, Roger Cook, the Premier? <laughs> That's right. I, I thought we had rules against this that. This is an outrage, yeah. isn't it? This no. is her. She's, she's leaving us. Hi. Oh, no, Ruby. Ruby. Yeah, Ruby. Ruby. What's I'm going out on? Here. Yep. No. She'll be back. See you on the flip side. Feel how cold it is here? It's twice as <laughs> cold know. in Melbourne. It's preparing yeah. me Well, she, she was having a really great time just enjoying her career, Roger, mm. and then suddenly um, Mark stepped down as Premier and she mm. said, well, I'm going to wait and see what happens next. <laughs> and that'll determine whether I stay in the state or not. Oh, but she's out. That's not she's true. Out. <laughs> <Don't listen to> <laughs> she's tapped out. Tapped, tapped out. out. Ruby, you've I'm been amazing. Guys, I will. Getting mm. triggered on the daily. Okay, yeah. okay. we love gonna, you, Ruby. We're going to miss you dancing in the studio for I us because you've been an amazing performer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, She's everybody, I think it's time to unpack up at the Lithium Factory and then go to Sean's Pub. <laughs> Pace Road, here we come. Nathan, Nat and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au. Nova.